Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. You know, you always wonder what goes on behind the scenes of our great leadership that we have across this globe. And you can see, you know, things change when all of a sudden, hey, wait a minute, guys. What, what, we're going live now? Hey, how are you doing? How's the kids? Oh, great. How's everything going? Wonderful. Yeah. Yeah. So we got to deliver some news here. So everybody, let's get on the same page. What, what, we're going. I thought we had five more minutes. Quick. Quick. Yikes. Quick. Everybody get a mask. Quick. Oh, no. Do as we say, not as we do. That's right. Notice they all kind of pile in at first with no mask, and then they didn't realize they're on TV. And, oh, here comes the mask patrol. Yeah, I, I think this goes on way more often, and I just want to make sure we're doing good, okay, than people realize. But you know what? People are waking up. They're waking up in droves. Uh, speaking of waking up, like, we didn't get any sleep last night. Sometimes Cindy ends up... Well, she channels in the middle of the night. You never know when she's going to channel. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, because it'll be in the middle of the night, and all of a sudden, somebody is talking to me, and it's not my wife. <laughs> and it's not Zeke and Sassy. Yeah, I know. So we got two messages before we go any further. Um, one came from the Galactic Federation. Just wanted to let us know there's an uptick in activity that they're seeing. Um, on... on I don't want to say both sides, but in, in many different arenas, uh, there's a lot of an increase in activity. You guys could feel it. Things are, you know, what's going on is very much like, well, it reminds me of, you know, like, again, the neighborhood bully scenario. And that bully will keep bumping you, they'll walk by and they'll bump you in the chest, bump you in the shoulder. Just to give you a little bit of a warning, then if you, it doesn't get the desired reaction, they might even use two hands to shove you hard. But sometimes, you know, the bully is surprised when the shove goes the other direction. Mm -hmm. And here again, you know, things are not exactly as they're being portrayed. Certain numbers might not be as they are being well, they are leading us to believe. Again, we need we need to question everything. When when our science changes, you know, on a regular basis, and yet we're told, you know, to trust in the science. Gosh, you know, I mean, we mm -hmm. we'd have to be foolish to trust in sources that are constantly revising things. Well, it makes it difficult because we're told to trust at such a young age. So it's really, really ingrained in us that these people who are telling us these things are good people. And you can trust them. And you're told this all your life. And then you wake up, something happens, and you realize, wait a minute. Maybe this isn't this isn't exactly what I thought it was. And, and you have to start looking around and really invest a good portion of your life finding out the truth. Yeah, there are some things that are going on right now. And let me just, I got the sound off because, you know, we want to keep this G or PG at best. And there's certain words that are being used here. There's, a, there's this one slogan that I've heard coming out of both coasts. As we see, uh, number 46 gets booed in California. And, you know, I think they're saying something about ducks. Something about ducks, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm guessing. Uh, yeah, and, and number 46's name as his number 46 goes by. And this is in California. And this is the Brooklyn Bridge with, uh, you know, that same slogan seems to be ringing out. There was a Yankee and Met game, you know, that was get uh, letting the people out after the game. And they had that same chant going on. Interesting. You know, this is uh, a chant that seems to be picking up from sea to shining sea. It sure does, you know, and people are showing their truth. And we're learning more and more and more about what's really going on. And we're seeing places actually not be able to function anymore because people are standing their ground. I like that sign there. It says, I call this the shots. Ah, uh, yeah, that's a good one. 
that's there's there's a lot of things going on again that are not merging with certain numbers, figures, stats. You know, this this right here, this is from Be Becker's Hospital Review. You got 11 employees resigning over uh, that issue that seems to have divided the country perhaps a lot more than is anticipated. Mm -hmm. 11 resigned from New York Hospital over that issue. And this is showing Henry Ford closes 120 beds due to staffing shortage. And this is in the Detroit area. Um, now, again, we were talking yesterday about what we heard with um, the delivery room had to be shut down in a particular hospital because there was nobody to, to man it. Mm -hmm. Texas hospital faces closure over that same issue, a hospital. Mm -hmm. This is something that is rolling onward, onward, onward. We, we understand there was a desired effect to be have, but when you start listening to what people are tweeting and putting out there in social media and talking about things that are happening that are just purely tragic, this particular quote says we were double capacity, double capacity, with seven schedule holes today. Guy comes in, tells registration he's having chest pain, no triage nurse because we're grossly understaffed, takes a seat in the waiting room and died. It's horrible. One of the PAs walked out crying, saying she was going to quit. This is all going down while I'm bouncing between my pneumo from a stabbing in one room. My 6040, it goes into other other issues that they're having. And, you know, unfortunately, this is being repeated in so many different areas around the country right now. These shortages, because people are make, taking the stand. Mm -hmm. And it's not the stand that I think perhaps certain powers that be anticipated. This one, uh, you can see burnout. We lost a doctor to suicide, and she died in her office. People are getting burned out, depressed. It's overwhelming. Uh, here in Denver, we see parents plan to sue over a particular man. Mm -hmm. Date. Date. Yes, yes. And then we have this coming from more and more places. This is Heber Springs, Arkansas. And this, you know, is a letter by the sheriff there. Basically says regarding all the same issue that we were talking about. Uh, not going to do it. Uh, you know, not going to enforce. Just saying or straight out. Not going to enforce certain issues again. This is, this is, again, ringing out from sea to, to Shining Sea. California County Sheriff, I will not enforce the VM. More and more. Uh, so, you know, it, it reminds me of Star Wars, right? Now, you know, we had the Empire strike back, but now the resistance is striking back. Yeah, people are doing exactly what, you know, the federation has been telling us to tell them to do, which I'm really kind of happy about that. Yeah, well, you see federal judge temporarily blocks the VM for healthcare workers. Wow. Hmm. Wow, it feels like the tide might be turning a teeny bit here. Mm -hmm. By the way, several several senior executives from Chinese banks investigated and arrested in recent weeks. Global Times is reporting. So we see this week several state-owned mouthpiece. Well, the state-owned mouthpiece is the Global Times itself. Uh, they made the announcement: several senior executives of Chinese banks have been put under investigation or arrested over recent weeks, according to the Central Commission for Disciplinary Ac Inspection. The regulatory scrutiny comes as China looks into the fight against corruption in the financial sector. Former party chief and former head of Guangzhou branch of Citic Bank, Ji Hongru, was placed under investigation. And it goes into other ones as well. And, you know, irregular practices and, you know, what's really happening here? What's happening here? Does that have anything to do about the origination of the plague upon the land and perhaps being able to trace things, track things, mm -hmm. put things together. 
most definitely, like we said, they're, the billionaire class had the best year ever since the outbreak happened. Yep. 2020 was a banner year. 2021, I'm sure, is going to be the same thing. And there's certain industries that basically they're you're being told you got to take one of their products. Mm -hmm. You know, in some places, basically, like if there is those dates that belong to men, uh, you know, you're not going to have a choice. You're going to have to, and that means tremendous profits for some. Mm -hmm as the billionaire class continues to grow. Now, this was just very odd. Is this something completely unusual going on earth change wise? Uh, is it basically the CCP uh, digging their tunnels and sending their troops over under the ground? I don't know, you know, this is really wild. I am completely terrified mysterious underground gas explosion buckles road and destroys building in Detroit. Yeah, that's absolutely crazy. Now you really got me wondering what is going on. Maybe it's those worms from that movie. Remember those oh, giant I worms? I love that movie. Tremors, yeah. tremors. Tremors. So a manager at a local business said that it felt like an earthquake. Strange buckling phenomenon was accompanied by a gas odor as if a gas explosion of some kind had taken place and caused a water main break. The incident happened near West Fort Street and Dearborn Street last uh, late Saturday night. It's being investigated in collaboration from the Great Lakes Water Authority in the city of Detroit. Details on the incident were limited Sunday afternoon. DTE stating no natural gas explosion occurred. DTE infrastructure had been impacted by a water main break. Meanwhile, Great Lakes Water Authority, or GLWA, reported that a gas explosion of some kind had taken place and caused a water main break. Late Sunday, in a news release, the Detroit Department of Public Works announced indefinite road closures and damaged buildings and pending demolition due to an unknown underground issue. Hmm. Heavily damaged due to underground issues considered at immediate risk of collapse on, onto the sidewalk and utility lines, talking about a commercial uh, building at that area. Very curious. So, you know, is it natural? Is it just age? Is it neglect? Is it sabotage? It's That's curious. Mm -hmm. It really does. That looks pretty crazy. Yeah, interesting. You know, these are very interesting times because there's so many different things going on at the same time. And we had talked about Chinese warships going to show up basically right next to the good old U.S. of A. And here you see they didn't wait long. They were sailing near the Aleutian Islands and off the Alaska's coast. And they were shadowed by the U.S. Uh, Coast Guard. As we can see right here. Mm-hmm. So apparently there was about four warships that were making their way parallel along the Aleutian coast, and the Coast Guard were following them. So this is not what has been typical in the past, but these are not typical times. And, you know, the dragon is awakening. Absolutely. And the dragon is asserting itself. It sure is. You, you know, just take a look around. It doesn't take... You you don't have to look around for too long to find enough evidence that that's happening. No, it's it's obviously happening here. And, of course, there's all sorts of stuff coming out from both sides. And it seems like so interesting that you know, this particular article doesn't want to reload here. This is talking about a certain general um, who supposedly was saying things that were well, you could take as being subversive to 45, mm -hmm. saying that he feared that 45 was going to start a N-U-K-E, W-A-R, with C-H-I-N-A. And, and this is, you know, the buzz all over the place uh, right now. And uh, 45 is, himself has come out with uh, the statement, well, that would didn't be a case of, T R E A S O N. As mm -hmm. I know, I know it's challenging people with the spelling there. <laughs> it's the spelling bee, guys. It is. It's always fun, though. We're just, uh, you know, as always, we have to be careful. Cryptic. Yeah. As well, hopefully our internet is. It's been really weird because 
well, we always get so much interference from certain powers that be. Yeah, look at all the pages are unresponsive now. Yep. All right, so the next one was basically going to be talking about Al-Qaeda rebuilding. Let's go back to this one, and we're just going to talk about it as we go forward because they want us to stop doing mm -hmm. the video. Um, so, yeah, you know, they're talking about Al-Qaeda rebuilding and, you know, be prepared because they may strike again. You know, well, so might the tooth fairy. Yeah, I know. So, yeah. you know, it's, it's it's Santa Claus with, you know, C-L-A-W-S. Uh, Santa Claus Super creepy. might come to get you. You know, as so many know, and many people are familiar with the term al Qaeda. When you really look again at, if you follow especially some of the deep military sites that are not um, just a mouthpiece for the alphabet soups, you, you'll see that so many of these fighters out there, they're nothing but contractors. They are nothing but contractors. They, they go wherever the money is, they'll jump sides. And so often, you know, the funding is funded by tax dollars mm -hmm. it's all about creating never ending war never ending war has has a purpose in and of itself it's never ending profits it's never ending control never ending new legislation that gets put in never ending executive orders just in case something happens you know we might need your well, we might need your food stores. We, we might need your fishing equipment. We might need your hunting equipment. If you're a hunter, you might have to commandeer your truck. You know, we might have to actually put you and your wife and your kids to work. Well, All these yeah. things are in effect thanks to executive orders that have come down throughout time. Right. And they've taken a lot of time and a lot of care to be thoughtful enough to make sure all of their bases are covered. We need to make sure... Our bases are covered. Meanwhile, you know, we have record record tax revenues collected by the IRS, who is almost doubling their force of workers as soon as 46 came in. You know, think about cuts everywhere, but how about Mr. Taxman? Yeah, I mean, they're, they're massive hiring there by number 46. That was one of the first things he did. You know, was was add to the people that are going to be collecting for the uh, banking C A B A L. And meanwhile, we have the poverty rate increasing. We have income decreasing. The life expectancy in the U S. last three years has decreased. Fertility rates decreasing. Sperm counts down sixty percent. Can we see a trend here? Can we see a trend here? You know, it's it's pretty obvious what that trend is. Mm -hmm. So when we go back and, and we and we look at what what we're seeing out there on the streets, you know, got to say in some ways, uh, long overdue. Mm -hmm. it now, is. one of the messages though I do want to share with you guys, and and I understand that not everybody will understand this too. It, coming from the Galactic Federation, in no way, shape, or form are they advocating any form of VIO lens. Not at all. Not at all. It, they are advocating, though, that we speak up for ourselves and we simply do not participate in the, in the system. And we've talked about that. And obviously, you could say, you know, how do I don't participate in the system? You know, that's something that's, I think, going to reveal itself in time to more and more people as time goes on. People will adapt. We will adapt. I mean, you had no choice but to adapt in places, again, like Poland, for instance, and Norway, uh, you know, in World, World War Two. You know, both of those countries, many other countries, France, you know, they were all completely occupied. So the former system just went away in a blink of an eye. But yet they survived. People do what they have to do. You adjust. 
You know, maybe it's life on rice and beans and lentils for a while with some herbs thrown in. But you make it and and you appreciate things more later on when things get back to some more normal form of Some norm- normalcy. Yeah, yeah, they really do. And when you when things change and you have to push yourself to change, your life and your body and everything along with it does definitely adjust. And sometimes it turns out that well, it was for the better. There was probably things that you're doing or you're, you're going to change your ways to be a healthier way. And one person that's been speaking up about that a lot about, about things is Rand Paul. And, you know, he was making more statements today, questioning things and, uh, you know, just putting out the logic out there that I think so many people, you know, maybe it's in our minds, but we don't have the opportunity to speak as he does on a public forum. Uh, and questioning things. And one of the things he's questioning is that the never ending warfare and talking about drone strikes that hit completely wrong targets and just wiped out a, a nice innocent family. Mm-hmm. And, you know, one of his things he said, now, don't you think that's going to create more quote unquote terrorists in the fu- future? Because you don't even know if you got the right target or not. You're just indiscriminately, you know, there's been. Many cases I've seen of people sharing that they got so desensitized because to them it was just kind of like a video game. Yeah. You know, they're watching the screen. These people, that, that's their actual duty. When they call in a drone strike, they, they're the ones that guide the drone in. They press the button. They watch the flash. That's it. Later on, other people go in and mop up, literally. But it's so dehumanizing and again, we have to look at how we are allowing ourselves to be programmed. Look at the video games. I mean, how many people love to play Call of Duty if that's still out there? Or any of these video games that are warlike and it conditions you to not even think or hesitate when it comes to pulling that you know, cyber trigger. But it does equate over into reality down the line later on and it is a form of conditioning that's been used for generations now Mm -hmm. it's pretty common and it's you know like the frog in boiling water thing again you know they apply certain things and then they turn up the heat and then people don't even know what hit them after after a while and we have you know a survey that came out recently and it said 56 percent of young adults feel there's like no hope for the future yeah that we're basically heading towards armageddon you know economically politically socially uh it's 56 percent better than half say there's not really a, a future out there well you know and that's really sad that they put that stuff out there because when you see adversity and you see things get really rough and shaky that means things are on the verge of some type of a beautiful change. So I hope if anyone is young and listening to this, listening to this video, please understand you are at the cusp at the precipice of something big and beautiful and just stand your ground and continue to bloom like the star seed that you are. The me- one of the messages that came through again, besides the messages um, from last night telling us that, you know, things are going up to an all new level that we're really heading into the thickest of the thick of things. So, you know, again, be as prepared as possible. You know, you should, as the government had said years ago now, be able to survive for six months on your own. If they're telling you six months, I'm going to go for three years. Mm -hmm. You know, I I really, I don't, I don't think that we're going to see these things just go back to what it used to be as far as the old normal. The old normal has gone. There's never going to be that old normal again. Everything is, is in the process of breaking down. It's just a matter of which way is it break down to how fast. So, again, you know, make sure you have enough. And, we, and we've talked to family members that are very awake. And, <clears throat> you know, I said to one of our dear family members today that we really love and care about a ton. How long could you, if you couldn't go out the door tomorrow, and how long could you make it? If you couldn't even go to the store tomorrow morning, how long could you comfortably make it with what you have there? And the answer was maybe three months, three, four months. 
I don't think that's enough. And everybody has different means. And really look at where you're spending your money. Uh, because, again, you know, one, one bag of nutritional, like we, we buy this nutritional rice that has like 10 times the vitamins um, and, and certain vitamins than others it's sprouted. Um, now, it cost me like 50-something dollars for 25 pounds non-GMO organic. But, you know, really when you think about the cost of that, for a meal, it's not a lot. You know, how many of us have gone and had a pizza and a few beers and maybe a salad and spent 50 bucks, right. you know? Right. Whereas you could have the foundation for 25 meals right mm -hmm. there or, or there thereabouts, just adding other things to them. Be ready, you know, because we, we don't know what tomorrow will bring, but the guys are telling us that, that it's going to a higher level now. And it could be coming from multiple angles. Um, so just they really, really want us to all be extra pre prepared. And again, assert ourselves. If you don't believe in something, don't just go along with it because everybody else is nudging you to. You know, be authentic. Be, be true to yourself. You know, peer pressure hits us as kids when we get into school, and sometimes we might say or do things we normally wouldn't do, and a lot of times it could get us into trouble. Mm -hmm. The stakes are higher now, and we're not kids anymore. Well, right. some of us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, again, you know, be as prepared as possible, but recognize your power. That's what people are doing now from sea to shining sea. Seems like things have changed a little bit. Mm -hmm. And that momentum, hmm, maybe the tidal wave is going to be sent back in the opposite direction. I, I really hope so. I love seeing what I'm seeing, seeing people stand up for what they believe in. You know, isn't that what life is about? It's about coming into this world, <clears throat> you know, you come here to learn something and do something. And the things that seem to feel the best is when you truly, truly believe in it and you're standing up for it. That's really, that's living. Mm -hmm. As always guys, thanks for your support on Ko-Fi and Patreon and do check out medicinal foods link at the top of every video. Awesome products, awesome people. God bless and namaste. Namaste.